Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to say the time and the date. And the first thing we're gonna look at is how to say the hour. So you're going to use the counter shi, which means o'clock. And you're gonna use it together with pure Korean numbers. Here's an example. 지금은 3시예요. Now it is three o'clock. To ask what time it is, you can use the word 몇, meaning how many, together with the counter shi. Literally, how many o'clock is it? For example, 지금 몇 시예요? What time is it now? Or to count hours. Not when reading the time, but just saying how many hours for something. Use the noun 시간, meaning time or hour, with pure Korean numbers. For example, 내일 두 시간이 있을 거예요. I will have two hours tomorrow. To say the minute, use the counter 분. This is used with Sino-Korean numbers. For example, 저는 2시 35분까지 기다릴 수 있어요. I can wait until 2.35. Optionally, to say the second, use the counter 초. This is used with Sino-Korean numbers. So I said that you can use the counter she to mean o'clock or what hour it is. And in Korean, hours on the clock are also counted from 1 to 12. So here are those different times. 1 o'clock, 한 시. 2 o'clock, 두 시. 3 o'clock, 세 시. 4 o'clock, 네 시. 5 o'clock, 다섯 시. 6 o'clock, 여섯 시. 7 o'clock, 일곱 시. 8 o'clock, 여덟 시. 9 o'clock, 아홉 시. 10 o'clock, 열 시. 11 o'clock, 열한 시. 12 o'clock, 열두 시. You can also use the words 오전, meaning before noon or a.m., or 오후, afternoon or p.m., to specify the time of day. And you can use 아침, morning, 저녁, evening, 밤, night, or 새벽, after midnight and before morning. And you can even use 반, half, to mean half past, with any hour. For example, 오전 10시 반, 10.30 a.m. So we've learned how to say what time it is, as well as how to count hours or minutes or even seconds. Now let's learn how to say the days of the week. Notice that all of these end with 요일, which means day of the week. Sunday, 일요일. Monday, 월요일. Tuesday, 화요일. Wednesday, 수요일. Thursday, 목요일. Friday, 금요일 Saturday 토요일 Next, to say what year it is or to count years, use the counter 년. This is used together with Sino-Korean numbers. Here's an example. 저는 1986년에 태어났어요. I was born in the year 1986. 올해는 2021년이에요. This year is 2021. 작년은 2020년이었어요. Last year was 2020. 내년은 2022년이에요. Next year is 2022. Next, to say the month, use the numbers from 1 to 12 together with 월. And these are used with Sino-Korean numbers. There are only two exceptions, so pay attention to those. January, 1월. February, 2월. March, 3월. April, 4월. May, 5월. June, 6월. July, 7월. August, 8월. September, 9월, October, 10월, November, 11월, December, 
Iwar. Note that June and October are the exceptions. To say the day or to count days, use the counter ir, and this will be used together with Sino-Korean numbers. For example, samship ir would be the 30th day of the month or 30 days. Here are some more examples. So, to say the current date, first say the year, followed by the month, and then the day. For example, 2021년 1월 1일 would be January 1st, 2021. To ask someone what day it is, use either 무슨 요일, what day of the week, or 며칠, what day of the month. So you can ask, 무슨 요일이에요? What day of the week is it? Or, 며칠이에요? What day of the month is it? We previously learned how we can use the particles 에서 and 까지 to mean to and from a location. But in order to say to and from a time, you'll instead want to use the particle 부터 with 까지. So here are some examples of that. 2시부터 기다렸어요. I waited from 2 o'clock. 내일까지 기다려 주세요. Please wait until tomorrow. 오후 5시부터 새벽 1시까지 드라마를 봤어요. I watched dramas from 5 o'clock p.m. until 1 o'clock past midnight. 저는 아침 7시부터 오후 4시까지 시간이 있어요. I have time from 7 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So let's take everything that we've learned using time and dates and put it into a conversation between two people, Yedim and Seon. First, Yedim says, 언니, 이 프로젝트를 다음 달까지 끝내고 싶어요. Older sister or older friend, I want to finish this project by next month. In this part, 다음 달까지, note that 까지 means as far as or until, but it can also translate as by when used together with a time. So, 다음 달까지 can translate as by next month. So, I want to finish this project by next month. 언제 저를 도와줄 수 있어요? When can you help me? 지난달하고 이번 달이 너무 바빴어요. Last month and this month were too busy. 하지만 다음 달은 시간이 더 있을 거예요. But next month, I will have or there will be more time. 정말요? Really? 언니는 항상 바빠요. You are always busy. 가끔은 안 바빠요. Sometimes I'm not busy. 지난주도 시간이 많이 있었어요. Last week too, I also had a lot of time. 혹시 이번 주는 어때요? How would this week be by chance? 이번 주는 좀 바쁘지만, this week is a little busy, but 다음 주 화요일은 괜찮아요. Next week, Tuesday is okay. 다음 주 화요일 2시는 어때요? How about next week, Tuesday, 2 o'clock? 좋아요. Good. 다음 주 화요일 2시에 만나요. We'll meet next week, Tuesday, at 2 o'clock. Note that the particle A can also mean at or on when used after any time or date. 언니, 이 프로젝트를 다음 달까지 끝내고 싶어요. 언제 저를 도와줄 수 있어요? 지난달하고 이번 달이 너무 바빴어요.
하지만 다음 달은 시간이 더 있을 거예요. 정말요? 언니는 항상 바빠요. 가끔은 안 바빠요. 지난주도 시간이 많이 있었어요. 혹시 이번 주는 어때요? 이번 주는 좀 바쁘지만 다음 주 화요일은 괜찮아요. 다음 주 화요일 2시는 어때요? 좋아요. 다음 주 화요일 2시에 만나요. So in this lesson, we learn how to tell the time and the date as well as several counters used with that. So practice everything here and I'll see you again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.